Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I am out on a special trip. So now, as you know, those of you who follow me regularly will know I've got a van and I like to go off on travels, but so far I haven't been away anywhere. Today I am. I'm doing a 24-hour camping test. One night in a field in the middle of nowhere. It's going to get dark later on. I'm going to be on my own. There's very little internet here and I don't have a lot of power or any power so I'm relying on battery power on my um, laptop in order to edit this and get it up. So please excuse the simplistic version of this video. The next video hopefully uh, will be in a lot more detail because no doubt I'll be back at home and I can edit it and all the rest of it. So I'm not away for very long. In fact, by the time you see this, I'll be pretty much home. So uh, it's a very short thing. So the purpose of this video is to show you what I've decided to take with me on my trip, um, mostly in the way of food. Uh, now, I've had a box, not this particular box, but a box like this, that whenever I've gone to an Airbnb and places like that, I always take a sort of food box. This time, uh, my food box has become my camping food box. I don't know whether this is going to work, whether this is going to um, change, but probably because the more you do this, the more you realise actually there's a different way of doing it, a better way, a more improved way and all of that. So let's open up this box, which as you can see is balanced on another chair. Chuck that over there. And so I'm hoping that this evening I will have a, a meal, obviously. I've got some gas and I've got a little cooker and a kettle, so I've, I've already had a cup of tea. Um, I'm hoping that the weather, the sun might go in any minute and we've got threatening clouds, but I'm hoping it's not going to rain. So um, we'll just see how that goes. So I'm hoping to have a, an evening meal tonight, uh, maybe a sandwich or something for lunch in a minute after I film this. And then in the morning, um, a breakfast. So what have we got in the box? Well, I've got several little boxes. Actually, I won't take them all out because they're probably all full. Um, boxes within boxes. So I've got some eggs. I thought what I'd do is I'd have um, eggs for breakfast, a couple of fried eggs. Um, I have a vague sort of frying pan in, in the van, so we should be able to do that. That should be good. Mary Hammond, I went to see Mary Hammond, one of my viewers, and she has made a cake. And I brought the cake with me, a bit of chocolate cake. So have some of that. Maybe I'll have that with a cup of tea this afternoon. That sounds good, doesn't it? Um, on this side, because uh, this is mainly washing up stuff, I've got washing up bottle. Um, I've got a spare uh, thing for wiping your bottom with, what do you call it, toilet paper. A cup. I've actually got a, um, a lemon and some ginger and somewhere I've got a little grater so I thought tonight I might have to help me sleep a uh, lemon and ginger just before I go to snooze land. I think that would be quite good. Um, if I need any I've got some granny granule, not granny gra granules, I don't think it was made with any grannies but granule, a gra gravy, gran you know what I'm trying to say. Um, if I don't prefer that some oxo cubes they all stay in the box bit of ginger here which is quite jolly. Of course a tea towel, very useful, I've got a couple of those. Um, most important so I don't leave any rubbish because this field that I'm in is Ian McCaggan's. Ian McCaggan is also one of my viewers and he's very generously let me do this test in his field. He is in um, near Petersfield, although this is Ian's field, in Hampshire. So I've got some bin liners just in case and so I can uh, clean up all the rubbish. Uh, so that would be good. Bought myself recently one of these uh, melamine, I don't know what it is, it's a plastic plate. So I've got a couple of those actually. Um, tin of tuna, uh, which is always handy. Some pasta. In my cool box inside the uh, van I have some tomatoes and some cheese. So I could do tuna, pasta, cheese and tomatoes. So I'm debating what I'm going to have this evening. Or uh, I've got baked beans. But um, what about toast? Well, I don't know about toast as such because I haven't got a toaster with me. But I have got some homemade bread that I made only the other day. There's still enough left. It's got to be eaten up. I thought I'd better take it with me. 
homemade wholemeal bread. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Oh. Fresh, fresh, uh, in a little plastic bag. So I could do baked beans on bread. I've got butter and cheese, so I'm not gonna starve. Um, and I can cook in the van as well as cooking outside. If it's too windy, I'll cook in the van, obviously. Um, if I want to do rice, I've got nothing to go with rice. Um, I was just looking around to see if there was anything I could forage. There is a few dock leaves, but I don't think dock leaves are going to go with it. Um, what else? I've got some, luckily I've got a little bit of olive oil, which I can fry my eggs in, so that's handy. Um, I've got soup, tin soup. Uh, I think I've had these in there for ages. They probably need using up. So I could have that with um, something, you know, with a bit more bread and cheese. I've got some ham, cold ham, so I could have that. Um, what else have we got? There's another tin of that. Of course, I need a chopping board to do my bread. Um, there's my little grater. Lovely little, easy, simple thing. Of course, I remembered to bring in a spatula to fl ooh, flip the eggs out with. Um, a couple of sharp knives just to ward off anybody who comes in the middle of the night and sees me over uh, and indeed to chop the bread uh, that's a nice bigger one call that a knife that's a knife <laughs> um, so that's good I've got some biscuits in in the uh, in the in the, I nearly called it the shed then in the van in case I just get a bit peckish so um, we're doing all right with all of that so Fingers crossed, I, I should be good. So here's the van. <laughs> so let me show you a few extra bits and pieces that I've brought with me. One of the things, in order to charge up the batteries and uh, my laptop, camera batteries, phone batteries and various things, I've got my mighty Power Oak. This is uh, an incredible device. You power it up at home, you plug it in the mains, you charge it up. It's got USB, USB. It's got three pin plug for the laptop. Um, and it's brilliant. It's like a little portable battery to give you a bit of extra charge. And because it's got the USB, you can charge up the mobile phones and indeed my cameras. So that's handy. Hang on a minute. So I have got my laptop, which is in this bag here, laptop bag, of course. Um, so I will edit up this video and uh, then I will have to get in the, in the van and drive somewhere to find a bit more internet because actually it's a bit shaky where I am. And then I'll use my phone to tether up and upload it. So you've got it. What day is it today? Tuesday. So you'll have it Wednesday because you may be watching this at some other juncture, but that's the plan. <laughs> And of course, I've got my decent camera here, my lovely decent camera, uh, mirrorless camera, for which I am making a, a bit more of an involved video, hopefully nicely put together about this trip um, and how I feel about it. And also the shortcomings of the van, uh, as well as the good points of the van, but Part of the whole process of this trip is to work out what bits I like, but also the changes I want to make. And there are changes. There are uh, changes to it. You probably can't see, but I've got a bit of plastic that's on the ground on the floor. I put a carpet in. And of course I realized I go out for muddy walks. This is a bit of a muddy old field. Uh, every time you go in and out, you're putting muddy feet onto the carpet, which is no good. So. Um, I have got that there as a protector. That was, that was a wise pre-thought. I need another one really to put outside the van so that um, I don't bring the mud in. You see, I can clearly see that when you go out camping and things like that, you get much more muddier than I imagined. So, and I haven't done, I haven't really done camping since I was in my twenties. So it's been a long time. Dump that in there. Of course, I've got my loo, I've got my kettle, I've got my cookers, uh, all the usual stuff that you've seen before. I've got my cool bag, not cool bag, my cool box in the back there. I've got wires sticking out of me from there. That's not very professional, is it? Um, there is a road here and it's not very active. And then later on, I think it'll go quiet and it'll go very dark because there's no street lights or anything. So, 
I'm going to be on my Todd tonight, but I can't show you that in this video because I want to get this one edited up and ready to roll. And then when I'm back tomorrow, I'll edit up. So the next one will be the next video. I also, if I can, if I've still got enough battery power and all that, um, there's a little village just up the road. So tomorrow morning, if it's reasonable, I'm probably going to go out there, film a little walk and then uh, hot foot it back home. So it'll be a very quick little thing. Anyway, this video has just been a very raw, basic thing. So at least I've got something out tomorrow. So I hope you uh, do get it. I mean, I'm hoping I can get it, get it uploaded. But anyway, there we are. Thank you very much. Watch this space. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what I do. And hopefully I can do more of this madcap stuff. Till next time. I think the rain is coming. I'm going to take cover. I need to pack up my bag again with all my food and I might go and have some lunch in the van. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, blimey.